But we do want to start with an update on the picture perfect Axiom 3 launch. Ignition, engine full power, and the start. So Axiom 3. We brought it to you live at 449 on News 6, News 6 Plus, and ClickOrlando.com. The first crewed launch of the year, sending the first all private European astronaut team to the International Space Station. While not as loud as liftoff, you may have heard a sonic boom as the first stage booster turned around and landed at the Cape. Our team coverage starts at Kennedy Space Center with News 6's James Barvero, who just got an update on the crew. Three, two, one, ignition, engine full power, and the stop. Go Axiom 3. Liftoff of Axiom Mission 3 the third fully private mission to the International Space Station. Further beyond, opening the door for more to follow, Godspeed AX-3. After a successful launch this afternoon at Kennedy Space Center. Amazing ride uphill. Commander Michael Lopez Alegria returns to space with first time orbital space flyers. It's a privilege uh, to be here to fly over the Earth. Colonel Walter Villaday from the Italian Air Force Marcus Want from Sweden. What a fantastic ride. And the first person from Turkey to go to space, Alper Gezvaraci. It has been a really great uh, feeling as I have been dreaming for so long. After checking in tonight from their Crew Dragon capsule, the crew is set to sleep for the next eight hours. And once they get to the International Space Station, like the crews of AX-1 and AX-2 before them, this crew will also work on science experiments for the following two weeks. And with the crew well on their way tonight, Axiom Space reports they should reach the International Space Station early Saturday morning. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six.